was first performed uh, with students effectively at Moscow Conservatoire, uh, so it's written for relatively young voices. They are quite challenging uh, sung roles, but we've got some fantastic singers taking them on. They're doing a, a really good job. It's also just a fantastically appropriate opera to perform with young people because it's about youth and arrogance and decisions that we make when we're young that we then have to, to, to live with, I suppose. The scale of Onyegin is uh, phenomenally grand. Firstly, just on a kind of emotional level, these stories are so affecting and, and they're played out with this fantastic score. Uh, it's, it's really involving, but then also just the sort of physical scale of the production. It's a great big stage, huge orchestra, and we've got a fantastic chorus really big chorus uh, who have been learning to dance and we've got a fantastic choreographer Hazel who's uh, been teaching them everything they need to know. So the Polonaise dance which we include um, in this and um, the same music um, for me was um, used when I was growing up um, using ballet exams. As soon as I heard the music, I remembered the steps. Um, so that kind of formed the whole Polonaise movement. Peasant scene, the whole peasant dance, um, obviously it's a bit different because that's more of a celebratory manner. So I didn't really use the whole balletic form in that. For me, that was more the Russian kind of form of dancing. So we did try for a while these um, high knees legs. Um, however, we did end up scrapping that because I realised they have to sing opera. So uh, we got rid of that. I've loved it, absolutely love it. Um, and it's very, very different to what I'm used to. Um, and suddenly they break out into song, which is, which is amazing and amusing at times. Um, they've improved so much. Um, their movement memory is the main thing that's increased. Um, so for the first week they um, weren't getting it, but by the second week they started to remember what was coming next, and that's the whole point in it. Eugenia Yegin is an opera written by Tchaikovsky in 1878. Um, each character has certain music, musical qualities that, that are associated with him or her. For example, Onyegin, a lot of his music is quite formulaic, it has very basic phrase structure which might suggest that he's being denied a chance to convey his real feelings. So we've managed to fix an orchestra of some of the best principals uh, in Cambridge, some of the best musicians in Cambridge. It's an orchestra of about 35, uh, which is quite a lot. Um, but so I have word that they will all fit in the pit at West Road. Um, so we're updating about 100 years from Pushkin's novel, which is written around 1820, and we're putting the opera still in Russia, but around 1917 to 1920, 1925, that kind of area. The idea being that really you can set Onyegin anywhere because it's all about this incredible emotional drama, but we wanted a sort of broader context that would mirror what's going on with the characters. So I'm seeing the revolution as the equivalent of these decisions made in youth and in haste, and then the sort of era under Stalin as being the consequences of that and having to, to live with the decisions that you've made.